welcome to this weekend reading vlog. It is currently March 13th, Friday the 13th. The world is coming to an end due to coronavirus. Um, here where I am, I'm in Canada, in Ontario, in a town. And uh, we only have one confirmed case so far, so we're pretty clean. The one confirmed case that we do have is a cancer doctor at our local hospital. And her partner is a surgeon at another hospital. So, you know, it's going to be spreading quickly, but so far me and my little family are good. We're not sick. We don't have a cough. We're all living the dream, except I have to go to school today from 12 to 2. Every single school in Ontario that is publicly funded has been closed, but my university is like, <laughs> we put out some hand sanitizer bottles. So, you know, like just go spray your workspace and you'll be fine. But I don't think they realize that literally everybody's going to have to touch that spray bottle. So not very helpful. Thanks though, Brock. Love ya. So yeah, I have to go to school from 12 to two. I'm hoping that it's gonna like follow suit and they're gonna close all their universities and make all the classes online. Honestly, our classes are so stupid that we could be doing it online anyways, so I don't really know why we need to go into class, but I digress, whole other situation that I could ramble on about forever. But reading vlog. I'm currently reading It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vinzini, and I am like 155 pages in. A boy named Craig who tries suicide he is unsuccessful and he ends up in a mental hospital because of it and it's like the story of all the people he meets and trying to get better and blah blah blah. I know that it is a movie. I have not seen the movie so I'm thinking that I'm going to finish this and then watch the movie and it'll be like a fun little time for me. I also need to go do a science experiment which sounds really weird but on the 23rd of March I have a presentation in my science class where I have to like present a science experiment so I guess I'll take you guys along for that and you can watch this little science experiment because I have to do it at home to make sure that it actually worked so it's not like super awkward when I get to class and then try to do it and then, you know, doesn't work. So that's what we're gonna go to do now. Come along with Miss J to do science. Basically, I'm supposed to be teaching about static electricity and atoms and blah, 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 you know, science. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take salt, you're gonna pour it onto your plate, right? Okay. Then you're gonna shake it. You're gonna have pepper. And you're gonna also pour that onto your plate. I don't know how much you're supposed to have, so. <laughs> and then you're gonna take your balloon. All I can smell is pepper. You're gonna. <laughs> gonna tie it up. Okay, our balloon is tied. Then we're gonna do static electricity. So you're gonna charge it. And this is the part where you can just make your students do it. I don't know how staticky it's gonna be. I feel like my hair is not that staticky, but hopefully we charge it enough. Okay, and then you're gonna put the balloon and like put it to the thing and then Wow! It picks up only the pepper. I don't know if you guys can actually see that, but basically the whole point is that the pepper is lighter than the salt, and that's when you teach, like, about atoms and, like, positive and negative energy and blah, blah, blah. But it works, so that's exciting. I have to, like, actually figure out the science behind it because I have to teach a whole class about it, but there you go. We know it works. That's exciting. Science with Jay. Just had my class for college and halfway through the class we all get this email that says oh yeah classes are now all going to be held online from March 13th to the end of the semester which is in May for us so why we had to come all the way down to campus is beyond me for them to literally just be like we're canceling all your classes so it's gonna be kind of weird for like teachers college though because a lot of our classes are like presentations pretending that our classmates are our students so i'm not really sure how that's gonna work like i guess that we're gonna have to do like videos of what we would have been presenting or something like the science experiment thing that i'm supposed to be doing is supposed to be in front of the class and like we're supposed to ask them questions and like 
interact with them like it's a real science lesson so I don't know how it's gonna work but it'll be interesting it'll be an adventure but as if coronavirus couldn't be the only negative thing in my life my nail broke so now I have to go see Jimmy my nail guy you guys met him during vlogmas I think he's great we love him but he's gonna go redo my nails which is annoying because it sets my schedule back because I had it all planned out so that for May 15th because I'm going to Disney World which is now shut down too so who knows if that's happening but I had it all planned out that I would have my nails done the day before I left to go to Disney World because I always do it like four weeks I know you're supposed to do it two weeks but your girl's poor and broke so we do it every four weeks so I had it all planned out and now it's fucking up my schedule because I was supposed to get them done next week not this week so now everything is pushed back and it's just a disaster okay it's just the world is falling apart <laughs> hello we're gonna go get my nail fixed because i'm i'm broken how'd you break it i moved my laptop and it snapped off oh, my nails are done they're like they're eastery pretty. we love yeah. them they're really short because we're rebuilding so they have to Starting grow from scratch. Yeah, so we ripped them all off and now they're really short so they can get longer. You didn't get them ripped off. You had like <coughs> no, he like different filed files. Them. Do you just hear that cough? Corona. <laughs> and <laughs> too soon. <laughs> Food, we don't know. We should get ribs and we can make them in the slow cooker. <laughs> we have to get something because there's no food at all. We can make them in the slow cooker. And then the bread is gone. Oh, <laughs> this is crazy, isn't it? Isn't it weird? Oh, but we can get Tim Horton, so it's okay. That's all that matters. Oh, weird. We just went to Walmart, <laughs> right there. We we're driving away, and everything is gone. Literally everything. So we. It's it is like the apocalypse. Yeah. So we bought lots of baking stuff because that's how we're gonna get. Our yeah. misery out is baking. Yeah, we're we're basically confined to home without being confined to home. You just yeah. Been, I just lost my just job. Got, just got laid so off for yeah, of I got work. laid off from my job because of the coronavirus. I cannot afford the apocalypse. So you're off for three weeks now. Yeah, right? I'm off for three weeks or until further notice. As as needed. Yeah, as needed. So they're allowed to like call me up and be like, "Yo, come to work," but I doubt that's gonna happen. So your girl has no money for three weeks just spent seventy dollars on her nails <laughs> and um love and life i spent the seventy dollars and then i got the email and i was like yeah but you would have done it anyway yeah yeah but i would have been paid seventy dollars within two hours of working yes. so yes. three hours four hours how much you 20 40 60 math. 80 four hours of working i would have had my nails paid for um, i i am just calculate leave me alone so so we bought cake mix and, yeah, all the essentials. And, and a cookie brownie mix. Yeah, there was Things. one lady in there who was stocking up on like those canned um, icing. Pre, pre made icing. Yeah, and I'm like, what? Are you going to eat it by the spoonful? Is that going to be your nutrition? Maybe she's making your own like, or something. That's her nutrition for the apocalypse is icing. But like everything was empty. It was crazy. It was really weird. That one lady was getting real offended. She's like, they're going to restock the shelves. The one with the gloves on. Yeah, she yeah. was wearing like gloves and she had like so many like cans of soup and like uh fruit in like canned fruit in her cart and i was like yo people are freaking out about I didn't this even, thing i didn't even look at that no and we were i was, meanwhile we got fruit because i want to make a ribs recipe i was saying that it's like crazy how there's nothing left and this other lady was like yeah i know it's crazy and then the lady who had all this like shit in her cart was like they are restocking the shelves okay it's not like we're just taking everything i was like you need to calm down my friend like yeah. <laughs> in like a they, time like this, let's all be kind to each the other. The only extra groceries that I bought was another tray of chicken breasts. Yeah. Because we do eat a lot of chicken. So I'll separate it and freeze it. But I, I we made the burritos a while ago, so I had to re I had to get more pork. We made the spaghetti yesterday, so I had to get more um, ground beef. We uh, we so went to I, McDonald's because we have our priorities straight. In yeah. the middle of an apocalypse, McDonald's. Gotta get to the nugs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it's just... It's just, I don't understand why the sudden need to get laundry detergent. Yeah, everything is crazy. Like it's, it was, and there's no bread in that store. Yeah, no bread, no bananas. Like, yeah, no bread, no bananas. Are they going to make banana bread or are they just going to live off bananas for three weeks? Like, I don't know. We don't know. It's not 
Saturday and I'm just waiting to go to work because now apparently I get to go to work because there's like a rental in from 10.30 to 2 who didn't want to cancel so they're risking the corona to come do this meeting that they're having so I get to go in which I'm okay with because that means I get paid and I need the monies but I figured I would update you guys on my reading before I left to go to work it's 9 30 now I have to leave at like 10 15 but I finished it's kind of a funny story by Ned Vizzini, Vizzini, however you say that name yesterday at like 11 p.m. and I just didn't want to film anything that late because everybody was sleeping and I was just like chilling by myself in my bed so I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars which I honestly thought that I would give it like at least a 4 because usually with like mental health books I always give them 4 or 5 just because like I just love that topic you know I think because I kind of knew the outline of the story and kind of what happened since like the book's been out forever and the movie's been out forever I just know the story so I wasn't really impressed with anything I do really like all the characters and I'm very excited to watch the movie to see how they like translate on screen and then while I'm at work I have homework to do so I have to do that but I also started The Shadow Between Us by Trisha Levenseller and I'm only 20 pages in but I'm loving it so far which like 20 pages like are you really loving it but yes um it's about a girl named Alessandra who is like trying to woo the shadow king who's like all powerful and her plan is to woo him and then like kill him and take his kingdom and she just met the shadow king and he's taken an interest in her but that's really all that's happened so far and I'm here for it because we love murdering men on this channel, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go get some breakfast before I go to work, and then I'll update you guys when I get home, I guess. Apples! Pardon? Apples! Move your bum. Apples? Move your bum. Move your bum. <laughs> Jane, what are you doing now? I'm putting sugar and cinnamon and flour on it. Okay. Then Proof we're... that I can do it myself. Mom. Well, you're the baker. Yeah, I am. <laughs> okay, now what are you doing? Making crumble. Crumble. I'm getting all my germs infused in it so that, um, boy will have my germs in him <laughs> oh yeah i didn't mention that i'm making this for a boy ah! look what? at her she's so pretty i'm not talking about it oh, you're talking Hello. about that yeah i know what you're going with hello i'm about to go to this guy i've been seeing's house um i made my apple crisp it smells delicious it's beside me i'll show you look Look at it, so delicious. I'm such a little baker. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go to his house. We're gonna have dinner. Apparently he's making me dinner. It's vegan, so that'll be fun. He says it's gonna be spicy though, and your girl can't handle spice, so <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. But yeah, I'm supposed to talk shit about him in this vlog. I told him I would, so he would be looking out for it. So you ain't shit, sir. He lives like, about half an hour away from me and I've never driven there before. I've never been to his side of town. So I'm kind of worried because I get lost really, really easily. So I have it on my GPS, but your girl broke and doesn't have data. So if I make a wrong turn, um, it can't recaliber. So I'll be fucked and lost in the middle of nowhere. So we're hoping for the best. Fingers crossed, wish me luck and hopefully I don't die on the way. Hi, it's Sunday now, um, like 10.30ish. I have been lying in my bed since I woke up at like 9, but I've been reading this lovely book, The Shadows Between Us, and I'm obsessed. I'm like 150 pages in, I think, 160 pages in, and I would just like to say that the main character, Alexandra, Alessandra, 
she's a fucking badass and I love her with my whole heart and I just want her to kill the king but also like I'm kind of digging the king now because like she's a little vulnerable baby and we love cinnamon rolls on this channel I'm hopefully gonna finish this today since I am in quarantine I am going to read Harry Potter because it's been two years, one year, I'm not really sure which one, since my last Jay Reads Harry Potter for the first time ever video. I'm on Harry Potter number five. I'm gonna start reading that today if I finish this because I really want to finish this because I'm loving it. I feel like it's definitely gonna be a five out of five book. But yeah, that's my plan for the day. So I'll update you guys if I end up finishing it. Cool, I should probably like make food too now because you know, food is important but I don't want to leave my bed because I just want to read. The Dilemmas of a Bookworm, you know? I just finished this book. Five out of five stars. It's probably my favorite book of the year now. It was so freaking good. Holy shit. If you haven't read this book, like such an underrated book, you need to read it like ASAP, please. Like it was so good. But I need to end this vlog so that I can start the Harry Potter vlog show. I will see you guys whenever I'm done Harry Potter. Bye!